Hey guys, welcome to a new updated tutorial on how to design your own sunglasses um, collection or line. If you're a designer out there and you want to design your own eyewear line, this is definitely a great video for you. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys the way that I go about designing my eyewear now. I don't sketch like that using paper. I'm full Photoshop and... It has been working for me the best. Okay, so let's get into it. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to come up here um, to file. We're going to go to new and we're going to do 1500 by 1500 pixels and click OK. So we're going to unlock the background, which is very easy. And we're actually going to look up some um, already made sunglasses. And what we're going to do is put that into Photoshop and outline the frame. Um, now, when you outline the frame, you can take away, you can add whatever you want to, you know, structure that frame. Most sunglasses are honestly have the same frame. And even if you look at designer like Dior or you look at other designers, they use um, the same frame in trend, if that makes sense. So like, you know like this sunglasses right here, these may be a pair of Dior aviators and these may be a pair of Louis Vuitton aviators and they'll have the same exact frame um, and they kind of make their own spinoff or their own version of it. So we're actually going to save this because I like these aviators um, and we're going to go back in Photoshop and we're going to drag our aviators um, onto our layer that we made, our background. And we're going to make that fit on the backdrop that we made. And I'm going to show you how to get that pretty backdrop like I had on the first one that you guys just saw. Um, I made all of this, the backdrop, the glass, everything. So um, what we're going to do is I feel like that should. Okay, so I feel like that's perfect. We're going to zoom in. And we're going to go up here to our tool right here. It should be the lasso tool. And now if you don't see this one up here, you're going to click hard and you're going to let go. And then you're going to go over here and then go down to the second one. So this is going to outline the frame for us. Now, I usually don't outline the whole entire frame. I usually do like one side and then I'll show you guys how to do the other side. Um... So I usually split it in half where my mouse is and gonna create a new layer. And I usually zoom in so I can get every detail of the glasses and be able to outline what I need to outline. Now I'm not gonna outline the teeth part because that's not what I want. We're gonna do a basic frame. And like I said, you can always add or take away whatever you want to your sunglasses so and I'm not going to even trace the bar so I'm going to show you guys how to do that so you're going to go down I always start right here and you're always going to go all the way around the frame and just outline the outside of it because this is going to give you your starting point of the sunglasses and you definitely want to have that starting point. Now we can even go a little bit off if we want to make the lens super thick. And all the way around. And you can honestly, you can always trace close to the edge but I feel like because I already went off a little bit that it's best to just make a super thick um, frame so I always continue to go across the nose bar and I'll stop right there and I'll go up this way as you can see I'll go up on the middle bar line the ruler and I'll cross back over and close it off. So now that you have this line 
all the way around this zigzag moving line, you're going to right click and you're going to go to stroke. And I always choose black and I always do two to three pixels depending on what size I really want um, the line to be. Like if I want it to be like very, very detailed, then I'm gonna do two. If I want it to be a little bit thicker, um, then I'm gonna do three to four. So we're gonna click okay. And now that you see the zigzag line is still there, but if you remove the sunglasses, you can see that we have our frame outline. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new layer. So this is the second layer we're going to name, well the first layer we're going to name frame outline. And then the second layer that we have, we're going to go ahead and outline the lens. So this is going to give us um, our lens. So I like to go like this. You can start whatever you want as long as you're comfortable with it. And you're gonna do the same thing that you did with the frame just on the lens. And it's okay if you mess up a little bit because you can honestly, you can erase it and then just go back and fix it with the draw in tool. So we're gonna do the same thing, just go all the way around the lens. And this is also, this is really great for beginners. This is also great for if you're just getting into the eyewear um, industry and you don't, you're not a very good sketcher, but you have an idea. I think this is always good because designers, um, a lot of designers honestly don't sketch. They have great ideas, but they just don't know how to sketch. And I think this is a great tool to um, use if you don't know how to sketch or you're just not confident in sketching. So this is also great for that. So we're just going to go all the way around and find where we was where we started and close it off just like we did the frame. Then we're going to right click again, click stroke, and you're going to keep two pixels and you're going to click OK. So now you should have your frame and your lens outline. I know that looks crazy, but we can always fix it and I'm going to show you how. So I always click the wand tool to deselect um, the zigzag line. So because like this came out a little bit squiggly and I'm not really happy with it, I like to go to filter, liquify. And what this is going to do is we can shape it and we can mold it um, the way that we want it to look, which I really, really like about this. Um, see, so we can bend it, we can shape it. If we don't think the lines are perfect. And I use this for a lot of my projects because sometimes I'm not happy with the shape of it and I don't think it looks like a full circle. So I just go to liquify and it helps it fix the trick so and you can you know poke out the lens a little bit more if you're not satisfied so that looks perfect to me and it looks better than what we started with so I click OK to save it and I'm gonna also do it with the lens so liquify filter and then liquify and gonna go down here if you want to zoom to that little zoom button and can zoom out and I like to just fix some of the rough edges. And as you can see, it helps. So we're just going to fix all of the little rough edges that we think are, you know, imperfect. And we're just going to fix those. Okay, and that looks perfect to me. Wait, a little bit down here. And then we're gonna click OK. So we are halfway done. Well, not halfway, 
but we're almost there. And then I'm going to resize this. So I just went to edit and then I went to free transfer, um, transform. And then this is going to, I can transform the size and move it to where I really want it to be. So we're going to then copy both of these layers. So I hold down shift, go to this layer right here, hold down shift, click this one, then right click. And then we're going to um, duplicate layers. And then as you can see, it duplicated it. So we're gonna go to edit. And then we're going to go to transform, transform. And then we're gonna go to flip. And that's how I make the other half. So I just get it to where I think it should be. And as you can see right here, we have the nose bridge gaps um, right there. So I want to go to the frame part. And then I'm just going to erase that little piece right there. So it looks more better. It just looks connected. Oh, wait, uh, trying to erase it. Okay, so it's this one. And I'm going to do that for both of them. So then it just looks connected. And you can move these together so it looks even more um, together. Don't know why I zoomed out, but... There you have it. Okay. So now that we have our outlines and we have um, our outline of the frame, we can add any metal components at this point. We can add um, uh, anything that we want to add that will make it that de decorate effect. Um, so let's say if I wanted to add that bar um, or add a bar, then I can go here and I can go here. And you would want to still, you know, outline the glasses like how I did right there and come over and then go up and then lock it again. Go, you want to right click, stroke. Oh, wait, 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 did I? Okay, so I did create a new layer. So you want to, you want to create a, a new layer first and then you want to do the lasso tool and then when you create the bar, right click, stroke, and then OK. So that's going to create the bar for us right there. And as you can see, it created a perfect bar. So now that we have our outline, we're going to want to get some legs. And you're going to want to do the same thing that you did with the frame as the legs. So let's look and see. So we're going to go to sunglasses, legs. So now we're going to go to sunglasses, legs, and we're going to find some legs that would suit our new pair of sunglasses. Um, so let's see. And you can search sunglasses, sunglasses, legs, arms. Um, it'll give you about the same thing. You just want to find a, you know, the temples of the sunglasses that you like and that you want to use for your pair of sunglasses. Um, so let's see. And you want to try to get a good view of them if they're on, like, if they're like this, you can't really use them because you can't really see the full legs. You want to try to get them where they are fully on their side so you can kind, to, kind of um, trace that and use that. So let's see. I like these. These are kind of cool, but they're not on their side. So let's go back and let's type in sunglasses temples then. Or temples. Temp. So 
So I like these. Which they're still not on their full like on their full side. But I think we could work with them. So let's go back to Photoshop. And now we're gonna drag in our temples that we liked. Same way we did it with the frame. And drag it below our frame. Click o enter. And now we're going to trace the legs. Um, now we can trace the legs or by looking at them or we can trace the legs if it was like fully on its side. So we're gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna trace the legs by just looking at them. Okay, so that's the leg. And then I'm gonna go up and it's gonna be really, really skinny. Okay, so then we're gonna right click and then we're gonna click stroke. And then we're gonna click okay. And that's gonna give us our side for our temples. So now I'm going to delete this side view of the glasses. And because like, you know, you see the squiggly lines and the jagged edges, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with our frame. We're gonna go to filter and liquify. And we're going to zoom in. And we're going to fix the imperfections. Okay. So all the little imperfections that we don't like, we're going to fix them. Okay. So and I feel like this. Okay, so we're gonna click OK. And that's gonna bring us back here. We're gonna go to File, we're gonna to go to Edit, Free Transform, and then we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So it, it goes with File, Frame. Okay. So that was the first part of designing your frame outline and now we're going to go on to color and patterns.